Hey everyone, it's Snoopy, and today I am going to bring you my, um, spring haul. Um, this is going to be stuff from, like, the drugstore, from Bath and Body Works, from, um, like, little boutiques where I live, and then from TJ Maxx. So, anyways, I guess I will go ahead, stop, or, I guess I will go ahead and get into it. So, the first, um, first part of this that I'm going to do is, uh, Path and Body Works. So, there's the bag. And they were having their buy three, get three free, um, when I went in. So, I went in and I got six things. Um, now one of the things I got for my friend, it was the pink chiffon shimmer lotion. She was obsessing over it. Um, and then I got five of them for me. Um, now I didn't buy the, the spritzes this time. I figured I would get those next time, like the body sprays. And I don't buy the lotions anymore because I use coconut oil as a lotion. Um, it's either that or like a tanning lotion. Um, so I just got all body washes. Um, so anyways, the five that I got were the Cherry Blossom, which is really good. Um, Paris Amour, Forever Sunshine. Pink Chiffon, which I just used. This was real good. And then I also, I accidentally bought this one. Um, I knew I was running low on something in the, sensual, in the sensual Amber, which is like my favorite. But it wasn't the body wash, it was the lotion. And I'm not purchasing the lotion, so I'm going to go return this one and exchange it for like something else. But anyway, um, I really, I really like light citrusy with floral scents. Um, <laughs> they're mostly pink. Anyways, so also have been added to the collection. And then next I got were um the little uh wallflowers. Now this is from this one's from fall, I didn't buy a new thing. But I got new scents. Um this one here is Poppy Flower or Poppy Sunshine and it smells so good. I love it when I walk into a room and it just smells good. The next one I got is called Flower Shop, and that smells, <laughs> smells like a flower shop. I bought the candle, and it's just absolutely amazing. So, yep, was that one. Next one I got is Pineapple Mango. This one is really, it smells real, real nice. Like, I love pineapple, and I also love mangoes, but I love pineapple more. And it just, it all smells real, real good. And I don't know why I'm unwrapping it, because I'm not going to open it. Whatever. Anyways, go back on. That one. And then the last one I got, um, I did the 4 for 20. So, um, the last one I got was the Peach Bellini. Which, um, it's a real, real fun scent. They all smell real good. I love them all. Um, I really wanted this one. It was like a lemon mint or something. And it smelled so good, but they were all out of the wallflowers. They only had the candles, and I wasn't going to buy any candles that day. So, let's see. What else I got? Um, I got a new, or I got a new little, um, whatchamacallit, pocket back holder, and then I got two, two new pocket backs. I got this one in Fresh Pick Tangerine, and then I got this one in Wild Hair, Wildberry Hibiscus. <sighs> it's like midnight, so I'm yawning, sorry. But anyway, it smells real good. Um, because I really, really love anything, like, as I already said, I really love anything citrusy or floral, so, let's see what all these scents are, citrus or floral, or both if I'm lucky. And then, um, what I also got, which I don't have with me because they're, like, elsewhere, um, is I got these shea butter socks, they have, like, blue and green stripes, and they got, like, a green toe, and it's so cute, and they're so soft. And then I also got a new bath bufa, I got the pink one, and it's just, it's awesome. Another bath bufa. Um... So that's all for that. I'm moving on to drugstore makeup and stuff. So for the drugstore, I guess I'll start with um, nail polishes. Could have sworn I got more than that. Anyway, first one I've got is um, one of the L'Oreal Paris nail polishes. They just relaunched their nail polish line um, and stuff. And this one is in number 330, Still the Roses. And it's just a pretty, you know, rosy pink. We'll go with lots. Next one I got was this awesome blue color and it's called Pacific Blue in the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Um, and it's just a real fun blue. It's real bright and it'll go with lots of my summery clothes and stuff. The next one I got is Coral Reef and it's like the same, um, same 
brand, same make, uh, the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. And that's an awesome coral. It won't go with as much, but it'll go with a lot with what I have. Um, and yeah, I'm the kind of person who will match their nail polish to their outfits, so, yep. <laughs> and the next polish I got is the Wet n Wild Mega Last. Um, uh, I think this is new because I've never seen it before, but, I, oh, yeah, <laughs> stick it right there. It says new. Anyway, I really like the brush in it. It says it's got, like, a mini curve Pro brush, and I really, really like it because I don't mess up as much. But anyway, this, uh, the color of this is I Need a Refreshment, so it's, like, a minty, minty green. I really like that one. Next one I got is the same thing, um, except in On a Trip, so it's real pretty purple. It's not too dark, not too light. Perfect to go with lots of my clothes. Um, and then I also got a base coat by Simple Colors and a Sally Hansen Drink Mini Top Coat. So that's not too exciting. On to the hair stuff. First thing, well, I've only got one hair thing really, but um, I went ahead and I've never tried um, this stuff, but it's the Sun In Hair Lightener. And um, it's been around forever, so I'm guessing it works. So. I'm trying it. This is, uh, I've used it this, I've used it today, um, and I'm gonna use it tomorrow, and it says my hair, it says my hair should look like that in two days, so we'll see. Anyway, it smells real good. This is a Trouble of Breeze one, so it's all that they had. It still smells real good. Oh, and that's actually not the only hair thing I got. The other hair thing I got, um, this box is this um, flat washable hair color and purple swag. Got my purple swag on you guys. Anyway, it's this temporary um, washed out purple hair color and I love like purple hair. Like when I'm 18 I'm going to be dying like all my hair purple. But for now I just have to settle for like temporary streaks and stuff. So um, it's it's really good. It's, it's not I don't like it as much as my um, other hair highlighter because this one will stay in longer um, and it won't rub off on your clothes or anything. But this one I found, um, it does go on a lot easier. It was a lot easier and the color is more vibrant, but um, I had put it on the night before and then by the end of the next day, it really, at like 7, it was like, I applied it to this streak right here. And all this part had faded and it was only like light purple right here. So I wasn't too impressed with the staying power. I mean, I know it's washed out, but I didn't even wash it, and it was still fading out. So that's that. I mean, it's still, you know, good if you want something fun for, like, a night or something. But that's that. Um, next thing I got was the Jergens Natural Glow, Natural Glow Air Foam uh, Daily Moisturizer. Uh, and I don't like this. I had thought, you know, oh, I'll try the foam stuff. You know, because I was a hair teeter, I thought, you know... Oh, I got a Vic card. You know, I'll get the discount because it was only on this one. And I didn't have a Vic card, so I didn't get the discount. So I might as well have gotten the other one. But anyways, I've used, I've used the... Uh, I did buy a whole bottle of this. I used the Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer before, and I loved it. used it last year to get ready for prom. So I was like, yeah, I'll try this one. And then I don't like it. See, um, I've already got somewhat dry skin in the first place. And so when I read the thing on here, it says quick drying. I'm like, heh, isn't that like not what a lotion is supposed to do. Like, it's supposed to be a moisturizer, but it's supposed to tan at the same time. So anyway, quick drying, kind of dried out my skin, and um, it worked for a good week. Um, like, I was I was so tan, I was loving it. And then all of a sudden, I noticed, like, a, like a line on my arm, and then all of this part, like, all of this had gone away, and then all of this part was all, like, scaly, flaky tan bits coming off, and you could see all the light skin <laughs> The pale skin underneath. So I was like, I'm not using that anymore. So I don't know what to do with this. I just got a bottle of this sitting around. Um, what is that? Oh. So I went and I bought the tried and true uh, regular moisturizing lotion and the re re revitalizing one. But it lasts two times longer with a powerful antioxidant and vitamin E formula. So I use this in the morning and I use my coconut oil at night. And um, I love this stuff. And I was glad I was able to snag it when it's got like the 25% bonus. Uh, bottle. And then, oh, last but not least, nail polish remover. Can't live without it. Um, so, uh, I forgot one little thing when I was talking about nails. Um, this isn't a haul item. I didn't buy it or anything, but I made it, um, because, uh, I don't have a nail daughter tool, and I was, like, planning on buying one. 
and then I went on Pinterest, and they had this idea of just taking a pencil and sticking like a pin, like a sewing pin, in it, and it works fabulous as a dotter. I love it. Um, so anyway, just a little tip there, so you don't have to go buy a dotting tool. Um, now on to all my strings. Some of the things I got were this um, really cute uh, sheer top. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. And it's just a real nice sheer top. Um, it's a button down. It's got a nice collar to it. Um, and it's got like roll up sleeves with um, like a button. But it's real cute. I like uh, pairing it with a lot of things. And it, it, even though, it, like, I, I'm rambling and stumbling and fumbling and it'll go like over lots of things as, you know, buttoned up, you know, to make your outfit. But it also, like, um, you can like leave it unbuttoned if you want just to. Uh, throw it on, have an extra layer there. So I like that. I think it was about like $13 at TJ Maxx. Next thing I got was this cute shirt by the brand UMG. U-N-G-E-E. -E. Oh, and the other one was called Tramp. It's a Tramp shirt. Anyway, this one's by UMG, and the sleeves are inside it. Sorry. This is adorable polka dot top. Um... And it's almost similar to that, but it's a polka dot top with a little bow there. It's got like little little poof of the sleeves, and then at the end of the sleeves, it's got a tie and a little hole. And I love this shirt so so much. It was so cute, and I got it. Um, I got it at a little bo boutique downtown. Um, yeah, that. At TJ Maxx, I found these adorable shirts. Um, and this is actually by Airy. Um, like I think it's an American Eagle or whatever. Um, but I found these adorable shorts. They're so comfortable. It feels like you're wearing pajamas in public. They're not pajamas, FYI, but they're so cute and they're so comfortable. And it's got lots of different color flowers in it, so it'll go with a lot of shirts. Um, and I love this so much. Next thing I got at a resale shop where I live. And I got this for $10. Anyway, it's this little tube dress by the brand Caritage1891. Um, anyway, it's this really cute dress, um, it's a strapless, it's got flowers all over it, it's so, like, um, I love wearing it with my cowgirl boots, I loved wearing it with my cowgirl boots, it's awesome. There's that, oh, it's a bubble dress, it's got, like, you know, the bubble hem. Next few things from TJ Maxx, um, are this, is this dress by, uh, Bebop Clothing, and it's just a real cool purple, orangey, reddish, tie-dyed, um, dress. Um, so it's got little ties that start here, ties in the back, and it's got an exposed zipper up the back, and it's a scoop neck, and I love it so much. It's so cute, and then the bonus, it's got pockets. If a dress has pockets, I'm immediately sold. Ooh, what's in this pocket? <laughs> it's a nickel. Cute. Next thing from TJ Maxx, and I haven't worn this yet because I'm trying to figure out what to wear underneath it. But it's this sheer black dress by Petticoat Alley. I got this for uh, 20 and the other one was 20 as well. Um, but it's got the same thing, those sleeves with the buttons. And it's a button down, you got a pocket here, little collar. And it's real cute. It's got a drawstring at the waist. And it's so cute. I'm just not sure what to wear under it. I'm thinking about getting like a, a slip dress like that you can actually wear. Or I was thinking, what if you got like... Um, a, a, a sequin dress that's like sequins all over and you put this on top and it would immediately make it like like a bunch of wearable sequins. I think that would be awesome. I'd wear it anyway. <laughs> Next thing um, is this little bustier top. It's like a crop top and I definitely don't wear this alone but I've got lots of tops that are kind of sh like they're not they're not sheer enough to where you can wear, I mean, they're not opaque enough to where you can wear a regular bra, but they're not sheer enough to where you can, like, um, they're not sheer, like, but I don't like layering in the summer. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. I don't like layering in the summer, um, so I don't want to wear, like, a whole tank top or cami underneath it, so I got this little crop top, um, I think it was, like, $4. It's by American Eagle, and it's not reversible, but denim on the outside, florals on the inside, I couldn't help but go ahead and take off all the tags and stuff and reverse it anyway, and it works, you know? So anyway, there's that. Super duper cute. Next thing I've got is this skirt. And this I got at Boutique Downtown. Um, this is by the brand Al 
Alicia. And it's just a real cute layered lace skirt. You may have already seen this on my blog before. But it's got like little scalp lace and it's got like, flowered lace. And it's, it's so, so pretty. I love it so much. And then I also, um, I went to a resale shop. A re a resale shop. <laughs> same one where I got that brown bubble dress. Um, and I found almost the same thing except it's brown and it's a shorts version. So it's so cute. It's got, you've got like the same kind of lace right here. Um, there are some other different laces in here. Like they didn't use the same one twice except for that top and bottom one. But this is it in a shorts version. And this is by the brand Sansuki. S-O-U-C-I. Don't know how to pronounce that. But that's that. Next thing I've got is this dress from a boutique downtown. And it's like, okay, it came in and I was just like, oh my gosh, that's going to be mine. So I saved up and I went and got it um, over the weekend. Um, it's got, it's got blue and pink flowers. Um, you got, you know, green thrown in there and red and it's, oh my god. I am in love with this thing. It's a pink dress. You got your ruffles. You got your little blue, uh, bow at the waist. Um, and it's, it's so pretty, man. I love it so much. The only thing I dislike about it is I wore it Saturday to work. And, um, like, you can see how this is, like, all, you know, bun it's elastic in the back, so it's all bunched up. Um, that's the only thing that got to me, because, like, the type of material it is, it's, like, it's, you know, nice and soft and smooth, but when it's bunched up like that, it's real rough. Um, so it's kind of scratchy, you know, around, around that area, and I wasn't liking that, but it's cute, so I dealt with it. <laughs> anyway, that's by the brand Fashion Spy. Next thing I've got is another dress from a boutique downtown where I live. And, um, this is by the brand Double Zero. And it's just, oh my god, this dress is so cute. Um, it's got, you've got, like, some cream, like, they're cream-colored ruffles, but they've got, like, a slight brown dip-dye tint around the edges. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's got leather straps with buckles, and that's really interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. And then you got your little, uh, lace edging here. you got a leather belt it comes with. And then if you look up close... Um, you can see, like, there's little, uh, little shimmery dots all over it, and it's so pretty. And at the bottom, you've got, like, some white, some white layers of, uh, the fabric. So, anyway, I am in love with that dress. It's <laughs> so cute. I wore it with my pink cowgirl boots, and it just, it just went together so well. With that, next thing, um, this one, yeah, this one. This is another dress um, from a boutique where I live. Uh, a different one. There's, there's like three or four of them downtown, and I shop at all of them. Um, this is uh, by the brand Mer Merprim. Merprim? Yep. Anyway, it's this cool little summer dress. Um, well, it's almost a dress. It's real short, so I wear it with shorts when I'm around town. But if you're going to the beach, it would make a great, you know, cover-up, and you wouldn't really have to worry about it being short. But it's, um, gr uh gray and orange, neon orange stripes with little rope ties here and it's like slips right here. And then right here, um, it's all bunched up but you can also untie this and um, unbunch it if you really wanted to. Just like that. Then you could tie it up. So there's another option. It's a real cute dress. I was involved in a fashion show downtown for one of these boutiques, and I got to model it in the fashion show, and I was like, oh, I gotta get it now, you know? <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Are you gonna come undone or not? <laughs> Whatever. Next thing is this, um, this, this is from TJ Maxx, and it's like a collared, it's a collared shirt, but it's a, it's a crop top. It's got, like, um, pink hydrangeas and stuff all over it. It's not, it's like kind of blended, so you can't really see, but you know it's a floral print. And it's real cute. I'm just trying to find some high-waisted shorts, um, that go up high enough so that it won't show my stomach, because around here, I mean, around where I live, it's not common. I don't want to, I don't want to wear it, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to show my midget, it's kind of dirty, but anyways, uh, maybe at the beach, you know, but, um, anyway, trying to find some, some high-waisted shorts that come up high enough, and then, um, also that, that denim bustier that I got, 
Um, that's what I would wear underneath with it. And this I got at TJ Maxx for 13 bucks, And it is by the brand Allie and Chris. And last but not least, in clothes, well, nope, no, 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 never mind, forget that, um, is this, uh, is this, um, lace shirt, and it's like a pullover shirt, you got some buttons here, but it's a pullover lace shirt, and it's so pretty, um, it's, it's puffy, it's like a puffy arm shirt, you got some black buttons here, buttons up here, black lace, collar, and then, um, this shirt was a steal. It was originally like, it was originally $129, and I got it on the sale rack for 20 and in my size too. So I was like, yay! And this is by the brand Petite Poise by Vivana. I don't know how you, how you pronounce that. P O I S. Okay, now this for clothing. Last but not least is this little dress from another from a boutique downtown, and this is the brand. Yes, Los Angeles. It's just a really pretty kimono-like dress, and it's got like a blue, gray, and white and black um, polka dotted pattern all over it. And it ties at the waist, you get a little thing, and then at the bottom here, it kind of comes open. I have it safe, like when I wear it, I like safety pin it so that it doesn't open up too much because that would be, you know, good. <laughs> so that's all for clothes. Um, and the last thing, well, no, not the last thing. So I, um, I um, got these floral toms. These are the, um, what do you call it? I can't remember what you call this print. But anyway, these are, you know, these are the floral toms. Um, and they're the wedges, because the wedges, the wedges are real comfortable, and it's got like um, a burlap-ish uh, twiny heel thing. Yeah, you know. Um, anyway, so I got those, and they will go with a lot, because they've got like every single color, summer color you can imagine. You got your yellow, your mint, your purple, your lilac, your pink, your hot pink, your red, your orange, and your blue. I think that's about all of them. <laughs> so anyway, I got those and I love them so much. Next thing. This is going to be the very last thing of the haul. And it is this purse. So, like, this purse was at a boutique that, um, it was at a boutique uh, ever since it opened, and then it's like it went on the sale rack. Like if I didn't want to like spend a ton on a purse, but then you know I wanted it and I wanted it and I wanted it, and then it finally went on the sale rack. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. So I went and I got it, and it's got a braided strap. It also comes with a spare strap. I don't know where it is. Here it is. It comes with a spare adjustable strap right here. And um, what's cool is like these circles here, it's a carabiner, so you can like slip on and off and you get this cool little tassel thing. And it's sequined and then it's fringed and I just, oh, I love it so much. And it holds a ton. It holds a ton. What? I love it. That's what just said, I love it. Anyways, um, oh, that wasn't the last thing, last thing, last thing, very last thing, I promise, is this bandeau top that I got at a store in Wilmington um, when I went on a little vacation there. Um, anyway, it's just a little bandeau top. Easy peasy. You know, it's like to go under some of the sheer tops and stuff that I have. Anyway, so that is all for this haul. I normally, like, never have that much, but I've been, like, on a spring shopping spree, and it's just fun. Um, I also bought my prom dress and a couple of accessories for it, but I'm not going to reveal that until after the prom. So, um, but look forward to prom hair and nail tutorials and also makeup tutorials. Um, I'm going to do my best to do all of them and in a fairly short amount of time because I've only got like two weeks of prom. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Bye.